Hi, boys and girls. Today's story is about Beneath the Bed and Other Scary Stories. Max Breller is the author of this book. Today, I'm going to continue reading about the statue. That's the book title, Statue. I was at a yard sale with my mom. She was looking at a creepy statue of a man. The statue stood as big as a real man. The man's lips were pressed tight together in a frown, like he was cold. A tater quilt was wrapped around the statue. The quilt was full of holes. I didn't like the quilt. It smelled old. Never take the quilt off the statue, a boy said in my ear. I jump. The lady who ran the yard sale stood behind me. She was dressed like a witch. My skin prickled. An icy breeze swarped across the yard. Suddenly, I felt very cold. Mom, I said, don't buy that statue. But my mom bought the statue. The lady threw in the quilt for free. At home, my mom placed the statue in our living room. The statue and the quilt gave me the creep. I ran up to my room to get away from them, but I could not stop thinking about that smelly quilt. I could smell it all the way upstairs. Later that night, I tiptoed downstairs and I marched up to the statue and yanked off the quilt. I ran outside and threw it in the trash. Then I went back to bed. I pulled my warm blanket up to my chin. I wasn't asleep for long. I woke up cold. My teeth were chattering. I look around. My blanket was gone. The yardster lady warning me raced through my head. Never take the quilt off the statue. I rushed downstairs. My warm blanket was wrapped around the statue and now the statue was smiling. I hope you enjoyed that story. A little bit scary, but not too scary. Thank you for listening, Mrs. Stewart.